In this video we're going to cover how to take a file that's in an email and bring it into Revit. In this scenario we'll have a DWG. So I select the DWG. I mean this is my email, right? I'm going to right click on it <clears throat> and I'm going to hit copy. Next we'll go to our explorer. So I'll go down toward the bottom. It's a little off the screen but uh, you can right click on the start button and go open Windows Explorer, however you get there. And I'm going to go to my particular folder. Now I've got a Dropbox one in here that I can use or any other ones. Okay, um, So I'll just go to Dropbox. And you'll see I have one here called Revit Projects. I'll click on it and then I'm going to go to right click and I'm going to hit paste. Okay, so the bank file is here. So that's uh, number one. Number two is we're going to go to Revit. Now that I'm in Revit, I'm going to go up top and you'll see there's an insert button. Now, being this is a CAD file, I'm going to bring it into the background so I can draw on top of it. So I'm going to go Insert, Link CAD, that's going to keep my Revit model clean. I'll go to, again to my desktop. <clears throat> I'll find my Dropbox location, which I'm not sure where it is. This may take a moment. Let me go drop this down. I'm going to go to Ken Colgan, and I'll see my Dropbox. Double click on it, and you'll see in here um, I should have a Revit file which I don't see so I must have put it in Revit projects there it is bank at this point when I hit open I'm gonna say bring it into the current view only so I don't, I don't want it to goo up all the rest of my drawings auto center to center that'll be fine and then I hit open what it's gonna do is bring it on in and place it uh, in this in my drawing area so let's go back to Revit it's up there we go you'll see the CAD file is now available at this point uh, if I wanted to turn layers on and off I could type in VV uh, and you'll see it says imported categories and bank this gives me all the layers to turn on and off so if I don't want to see the text of the walls I can turn them off once that's done I can then start the architecture tab wall and how do you want to trace it okay the height of the wall uh, the, you can use center line a face of wall and then start to trace the existing walls. One tip you want to do is draw over the existing openings, okay? Now it's on center line, but notice what Revit does, it actually picks the center line. What you're going to do is cross over the openings like so. Now, though we can't see where the doors are, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to change this little button, the one that looks like a cube, to wireframe. Now in wireframe I can see where the openings are a little bit better, and then I'm going to go door, and I'm going to place the door in using the standard Revit door command. So the trick is don't break the wall, draw the wall, wall all the way through, then come back and then add the doors in. So there you go, there's uh, how to get your CAD file out of your email into Revit and start to work.